Welcome to another reaction video. Uh, we're responding again to uh, Abraham Piper talking about guilt, guilt and religion. Constant guilt is built into conservative Christianity. It's a feature. The gnawing sense of things being morally off inside you no matter what. That's supposed to I wonder if it's morally off to be like that. I wonder if conservative Christians are guilty because they feature guilt so heavily. They rely on guilt. Is he trying to make us feel bad? <laughs> I think so. To be there. There's a verse from Paul, patron saint of making sure everyone else feels just as miserable as he does, where he says, even if everything is allowed, meaning you're not sinning, there's still stuff you shouldn't do because it's not edifying. Translation, even if you're not doing anything wrong, you should still feel shitty about yourself. Here's the fun. Even if you're not doing anything wrong in yourself, you should still remember your neighbor, which is what Paul was talking about. Remember your brother. Remember other people, which I think for Piper here is a bridge too far. Fun part. Using fun loosely. This anxiety is essential to conservative Christianity's very existence. Because if you don't feel like shit, even when you're doing nothing wrong, you have no reason to run to them for a solution. Before fun If you don't have cancer, you have no reason to go to the doctor. I think... That I, I think that cancer must be imaginary because some doctors profit from it. And let's, let's grant that some doctors profit in some reprehensible way from it. Let's say that some doctors are greedy and they went to med school because they had this insatiable greed and they wanted to be, buy a fancy mansion on the hill. And they went into cancer research for all the wrong reasons. It follows necessarily, following this logic, that cancer does not exist. Fundamentalism can save you, it has to curse you. But this is good news because it means you can just leave. And if you leave, what do you walk into? You walk into a world dominated by guilt. Guilt because you don't separate your garbage. Guilt because your carbon footprint is too big. Guilt because you breathe out the pollutant that is that is killing the planet. That you are the you are a pollutant machine you breathe it out your nose every time you every time you exhale feel guilty about that you should feel anybody who wants to say that the world of cancel culture the world of secular humanism the world of woke culture uh, doesn't traffic in guilt is <laughs> simply delusional every human society has a standard of guilt and innocence and the Christians included we are distinguished by the fact that our standard of guilt and innocence is defined by God and his word, as opposed to people who are just blown about by various winds of doctrine like Abraham Piper. The problems aren't coming along. They're going to stay with them. Your evilness, your constant failing, it's not going to follow you because it's in their heads. Yeah. And what's in your head, right? What's in your head? What, what, do, you want, what do you want us to feel guilty about? Right? You... This is a basic inescapable concept. It's not whether, but which. It's not whether you feel guilty, but rather which things you feel guilty about. You, um, if you don't love your brother, and you're a Christian, you don't love your brother, you feel guilty about that. Uh, according to Piper here, if you don't leave fundamentalist Christianity, you ought to feel guilty about that. It's, you can't get away from it. If you are enjoying these videos and would like to support this channel and the work of Canon Press, join up at Canon Plus. Just click the link, create an account, and have a look around.